Thank you, Mayor. And yes, I do have a, an update, a handful of items here that I'd like to share with the council and the community. Um, actually very excited, uh, first up, to share that on October 10th, Governor Newsom signed uh, Assembly Member Alma Rasucci's Bill A12, uh, AB 1216. Uh, got the signature, uh, which is very exciting for all of us. Um, what that means now is that uh, effective January 1st, 2027, Hyperion will be required to conduct regular source monitoring for nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds. In addition, they'll have to monitor at its fence line for pollutants of concern, including hydrogen sulfide. And finally, uh, they'll need to share this fence line monitoring with, with the public in real time. So very exciting to get the legislation uh, signed by the governor. Um, thank you to all involved. Um, this matters because the current fence line monitoring is only for hydrogen sulfide, which is a temporary requirement. The law makes the air quality monitoring a permanent requirement, giving AQMD oversight to determine what is a pollutant of concern that needs to be monitored. Essentially, the bill requires Hyperion to meet the same transparency and monitoring requirements of refineries. This is exactly what we've been asking for, and as I shared earlier, we're grateful to Assemblymember Marasucci for taking on this legislation and the support of AQMD, Senator Ben Allen, Congressman Ted Lieu, and LA County Supervisor Holly Mitchell, who all stood behind us in, in getting this legislation passed, as well as various stakeholders that were critical to getting the bill passed. Um, speaking of AQMD, uh, they've responded to approximately 65 odor complaints in the past two weeks and issued a notice of violation for odor-related public nuisance on October 7th. AQMD is still evaluating findings from an on-site inspection regarding air quality regulation compliance, and as soon as they provide us with the results of those findings, we'll share them on our website. Uh, today and Thursday, October 19th, Hyperion it will be testing its emergency generators. Some odors may be released during the test as the odor control devices will be shut down for about 15 minutes. This testing is essential to ensure resilient operations of the plant in the event of, of a, any power outage. Uh, in addition, the next Hyperion Citizens Forum is scheduled to take place via Zoom on Thursday, October 29th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Registration to attend this meeting is required in advance Details on how to register can be found on the Hyperion page of the city's website. Uh, they also have a planned exercise of the one mile outfall gate uh, that was successfully conducted on September 28th. And also Hyperion continues the replacement of tank covers for battery C and B that is expected to be completed by the end of December of 2023. Finally, staff continues to work with Dr. Stenstrom, as you know, on verifying the status of the 33 recommendations uh, that came out of the ad hoc committee. And we're also working with Dr. Centrum right now to prepare uh, the 33 uh, uh, rec uh, responses to the 33 recommendations, which we will, we will put it, be putting in dash, dashboard form, uh, which will eventually go on our website. That concludes my report. Uh, I would just comment that that uh, generator test tomorrow is a big deal. I mean, that is for the headworks, and that initial failure of them to programmatically test that system before is exactly what led to the catastrophe over there. They would not be doing that without the work of Elias and you, city manager. So thank you very much for, for, for leaning into them on that. Yeah, I just wanted to make a comment. I was on a call with um, Al Mirsucci's representative, and she was, you know, saying that the bill got passed. And she was um, complimenting El Segundo on our re, um, diligence to get it done. She said she'd never seen a bill get passed so quickly and go through the committee so fast, and that she she was quite surprised at that El Segundo was able to get it done so quickly. And she just complimented us on saying that thank you for being on top of it, and it was the work of the city that really helped it happen. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you, city manager. Thank you, colleagues.